tutorial would be animating this background image would be moving it left and right using this button and as we move left and right the background image our car itself would change the direction actually we have two car images one is the main car which is this one and a flip car image and this one and our background is this one it's pretty long actually i have combined two background images together and now this is our main.dart file it's pretty much empty and we are going to use a stack widget to wrap everything around because we are going to overlap our car and the background image and at the same time these positions okay so that's why we need a stack widget part of it could be done without stack widget but as we are going to overlap our car on the background so that's why we need the stack widget okay and stack has children so the first children we want to use in our case is uh, uh, animated position animated position we want to use this because we want to animate the position of this background okay and as you can see it takes a child uh, for this child would be using an image okay so we'll call image dot asset image and it takes the name in our case the path so I have saved it in our in my IMG folder background dot PNG okay so just uh, take a quick look it's over here and at the same time we need to change uh, the settings over here as you see all right anyway uh, so this is the image path and now because we want to animate the image so it needs duration so let's call duration function from dart duration and we want to animate within 200 milliseconds like this okay so that's our child and duration let's get organized okay and this animated position as you can see it's a positioned widget but we animate it so that's why we're using animated position widget and like other position widget it takes uh, position and uh, let's say top position top position minus 100 and uh, give it a left position and the left position for now say zero okay so let's go ahead and run it and see the result okay, it might take a few minutes seconds to get started yeah it's over here but it's too big okay so what we could do one thing we can change the height of this thing uh, so it's too big now so height say 800 okay because the image is too big so it might take a bit of time to load okay perfect okay so this is our background and the next thing we want we want to show the car over here on the background okay for showing the car we'd be using another uh, position widget but in this case it's not uh, animated position it's just position widget because uh, we don't want to animate its position uh, so it takes a child uh, the first thing we could supply child uh, container okay now within container we can use box decoration so we'll call decoration property which takes box decoration widget and we are using box decoration because we want to use image decoration widget within it so let's call decoration image and within it would be using image property and which takes asset image okay perfect now it should take our path so what is our path that is img car.png so again this one okay all right and now we need to assign it position so let's assign it uh, top position say we want somewhere from here to here okay so it would be around 500 but in your project you need to calculate the actual height or top position what you want okay and the left position I, I want it somewhere here from the left so let's assign it 180 sorry left 180 okay all right and uh, what else uh, so now let's go ahead and run it and see the result okay again our image is too big so it might take a bit of time to load and that image didn't show up uh, let's see why 
uh, the reason could be that uh, we are not saying the width and height of this container itself so let's assign width and height so height say 120 and width say 120 so it's more like square size okay now this is our car and the background image all right now well it's it's too small but i think it's it's okay though it doesn't make a big difference though but we can change the size of this using box fit which uh, is used for decoration image okay it is not fitting the box directly so fit box fit dot fill let's okay now let's run it and see the result okay now it's, it's a bit bigger okay now it's getting the shape right okay so that's all about our uh the car and the background next we'll see how to move the image the background image to move it we need to have a few buttons here two buttons on the left and right and to stop it we also need a pause button so let's go ahead and uh, first draw a button over here okay well now a few things we could do over here though um, we can use the same position widget like this so let's go ahead and declare another position widget and uh, once again it takes a child so we'll use icon button because we would, uh, want to be able to uh, tap on them and then uh, it takes icon property and it icon property takes icon widget and icons dot arrow back iOS button and at the same time I think we also need to implement on pressed event and with an on pressed event we want to set state because we want to change the position of this thing and redraw everything so that's why we need set state and to dealing with set state and position we need to declare variables let's go up here which I've already done position double and is a flip and is a start so the first thing we want to deal with is is a position and is a flipped so is position is zero and is a flipped is zero so if is a flipped sorry is a flipped is false if is flipped is false so this is the car direction and is a flipped is a true we would be we would be showing this car and which is coming later though so now let's implement those variables over here so so every time someone press on the button so let's go ahead and see where is the button but to show the buttons position actually we need to assign position to it so let's go ahead say top 700 and the left position uh, well for left we, we want to do with media query put it somewhere in the middle but not exactly in the middle size uh, and we want width and divide it by 2 and then say minus 85 okay so now let's go ahead and run it and see the result okay so this is the button so all we did here we take the we took the whole width and divided it by two and which is this one and then we again minus 85 from it we took 85 so it's coming over here so this is the button so as we click on the button we would be able to want we want the background to move to the left okay so to move it to the left we need to change the position okay so our current position is zero so what we would do would minus position take the current position and my fr from it minus 40 okay and uh, now so this would be the position and this position we need to bind it with our animated position widget uh, left this property which is responsible for showing the image position on the left so we'll just assign this one so now this position and this position they're connected so once the position change over here it will reflect in in this widget okay so now let's go ahead and run it and see the result okay perfect now let's press on it yeah so as you see as we press it moves right perfect so it's going to the left as you can see so the next we'll see how to move it to the right okay all right so to move it to the right all we need to do we need to copy this position widget and change a bit of over here and over there okay so let's just copy it okay perfect all right now this position 
uh, instead of back arrow what we could do we could call it forward arrow right arrow forward iOS this one and just now we are doing minus and we want to do plus okay now let's save it and see the result well now they're together so I want it to be right over here a little over there right okay so what we could do so first we take the half of this widget uh, sorry the width and which is this one and then we want to increase a little bit of the position say add 50 with it and now let's see the result okay perfect okay so now let's restart it and again once again because the background image is too big so that's why we need to wait now let's click on them so you see the background image is moving on the left and now if we click on this the background image is moving on the right perfect so this moving thing is working right okay uh, well now as we move left and right we need to change the image position okay oh uh, sorry this car direction now it's a bit of weird because you see the car is not changing so we want to flip the car okay so let's go ahead and do it so to fi flip the car we need to change uh, uh, the image over here the car image but that that should be based on condition so well now we can wrap our condition so as we uh, like this is the first position widget okay this is the first position widget and this one is responsible for pressing events over here so as we click on this over here actually it is going to the forward direction which is correct right and as we click on this the you see the car should change its direction okay so now that's why we should start from this one so let's see so what is the state here over here so as someone let's see click on this button over here so we will say is flipped true okay now originally is a flipped is false and now is flipped is it true we don't want to show this image we want to show a different image okay all right so now we'll see is flipped true then we show this image otherwise that image so actually is a flipped is true this image should take flip car this one dot png right and if it is a false then we should show this image over here okay all right now let's go ahead and run it okay so let's see over here now it's working i mean this is the original state now let's click on this button now okay now it's changes state and the direction as you see but now if i click here now it's not changing because we are not changing the flipped position once once we click on this button so you also need to change over here so as we click click here the car direction should change and it can only change if we change the condition so over here we change is flip to false which we set back to original position sorry original condition and now if original condition which is is a flipped false then we'd be able to see this image over here now let's run it one more time and see the result okay all right so let's click click on them and now click on it wow okay now it's working correctly as you see each time it goes in uh, the uh, the background image go on the left the image is the head is forward and now background image goes on the right the image head is on the left so that's what we wanted okay now this is kind of boring animation because um, it doesn't start automatically and it should I mean it, it, it is always stopped automatically but it doesn't start automatically okay so let's start it automatically so to start it automatically we, we need to use a timer function okay which uh, flutter we have and that's kind of we have to write it in dart and uh, to do that actually we pretty much write it over here okay so we'll call timer dot periodic this function and it takes another function which is called duration and uh, duration takes uh, parameters we can pass milliseconds uh, not microseconds milliseconds 
and say 200 milliseconds and then we need this timer object let's uh, keep it there and after that uh, we need a set state function we need the set state because we want to move some of this logic down there this logic down there over here so that they start automatically and stop automatically okay all right so now let's see we want to as we start our uh, animation or the app starts we want that uh, background to move automatically okay so and that's why we have this timer over here and it checks every 200 milliseconds later as you can see from here okay and we can set a condition is it flipped false so if is flipped false so if it's flaw false we want to move the background image to the left okay all right so how do you do that position minus equal 40 okay all right otherwise we'll do position plus position 40 okay so that's how we do that so when the app starts and initialization has been done it will check is a flipped condition but default condition is false which we said earlier over here and if it is false then the background image should move to the left because we are doing a minus from the current position so the current position should be zero right so it would move to the left All right and as we have this condition over here uh, what we could do we can remove this one okay just keep the is flipped state or the condition variable there we don't need to do plus minus from there okay so now let's go ahead and run it okay it started automatically perfect now as you see we can also change the background at the same time to the left and right and the car changes from the left and right okay yeah wow so it's working so the next thing what do you want we want to be able to stop it instead of starting automatically like this we want to have a button so once we click on the button start button the animation starts okay all right so let's go ahead and stop it okay yeah so we want to declare another position widget so let's go ahead and copy this one whatever we have the last one and paste it okay now let's open it up the top position doesn't change and um, instead of this we can call another icon we can call it start outline maybe this one okay and we want to set a condition here so well before we set a condition let's see the position of this widget okay well it started but you, you see these two icons they overlapped onto each other so let's remove this one first and let's run it one more time and see the result okay so we want to push it to the left a little bit so what we could do we can do minus so minus 20 and see okay now perfect so th this position is working now okay yeah all right but it starts automatically okay so we want to stop this auto start so we can set a condition but we already declared a variable over here as you see which says is start false so check uh, well once someone click on the button then we'll do is start true okay so someone clicks on this button this is a start is it true so now this animation this the periodic timer animation we want to start when is start equal true when it's true then we start the animation okay all right because at the beginning it is false so once we click on this button it would be true and and when it is a true then we'll start to go left and right like that okay let's see okay the background image is loading perfect now let's click on this yes it started right but now we need to find a way to stop it it's not stopping but other things are pretty much okay though I, like as you can see the background image they are moving left and right right 
yeah perfect but now we need to find a where to stop it's pretty easy come over here so once we click it next time we do a uh, opposite of the current state so this one that's it okay let's start the animation started now let's stop it stopped let's start it now go on the right the background is, image is moving to the right let's move the background image to the left and stop it and now start it now change the direction perfect everything is working as we expected but the only thing this icon so let's change the icon okay all right so we can do a, a, a condition check over here so we will see is start equal true when it started then we want to change the icon okay what kind of icon we want to show let's see icons dot restart i think alt let's go ahead with this okay perfect well if you learned something don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button and don't forget to forward this video to your friends thank you so much see you next tutorial